We're so excited that you decided to join us today. And whether or not you're joining us by way of the web or whether or not you're at one of our campuses here in the city of Charlotte, we're excited that you're here. God's been doing some amazing things all month long. October was Life Mission Month here at the park. And our theme for the month was Love Unleashed. And we were doing just that. We've had several opportunities to extend the love of Christ, and here are just a few of those. We had a clarion call from our pastor to be a blessing to men in our community that were in need of clothing. We had an abundance of people to turn out and to share in just that. We were able to be a blessing to local agencies that were supporting those brothers in our local community. God be praised. We also had a taste of mission. That's a night of sharing of information to our missionaries who are extending the love of Christ in international countries. We were over four continents at one time and God's been blessing us even in that work. We also had Hallelujah Fest, our safe alternative to Halloween. We had over 1,200 children to come out for a night of fun, food, and fellowship at our Park Church Independence. God be praised. Now, my brothers and sisters, Life Mission Month just doesn't end in October. We are constantly on mission for God. Our life should be about mission. In fact, we should constantly be looking for ways for us to grow and develop in our walk with Christ. One of the ways we do that is through Wonderful Wednesday, our midweek worship service. We kick it off with a fresh fire prayer at 5.45 p.m. And then we go directly into Bible study. That's an opportunity for us to grow and develop. We also have Sunday school classes for our youth, children, and women, and we also have a monthly Monday night Bible study for men. We have no excuse to not be all that God's called us to be. On Sunday, November 10, we'll have designated seating for all of our veterans. Whether you're an active duty or a retired service member and your families, if you'd like to wear your uniforms, we'd love for you to wear them to church that day as we honor you for your sacrifice and service to our country. If you need any additional information or have questions, please contact Reverend Taswell Henderson or Deaconess Tondra McLaurin here at the church at 704-392-1681. Brothers and sisters, our centennial is fastly approaching. November 16th and 17th is when we'll be celebrating all God's done in this past 100 years in the life of our church. And then we'll continue into our 100th year. Listen, all of you choir members, I know you're sitting out there. I hear you every Sunday. I watch you. Those persons that can, can be a part of our Centennial Choir, we'd love to have you. We're having rehearsals at both locations on Tuesday nights or Thursday nights or Saturday mornings at either campus. Just reach out to Minister Eric Reed or to Brother Patrick Love. Or if you see me or Charlize out in the audience, we can tell you how you can be a part of the Centennial Choir. We need you up on that choir on Centennial Sunday. Also. If you'd like to be a part of our Centennial Journal, we still have advertisement space. If you'd like to place an ad for your business, or maybe possibly just shout out some of your friends or family members and go down in history, you can be a part of our Centennial Journal. Please reach out to us at 704-392-1681. God's been doing some great things. He has been doing over the past 100 years. He's continuing to do great things on our behalf. So it's time for us to give worship and praise to the one who has been and is continuing to do great things on our behalf. It's time for the Park Church Worship Experience. <laughs> 